positioning is extremely important for the application of thermal agents. We are going to look at the application of thermal agents such as ultrasound for the shoulder and the wrist. You want to ensure that the position that you the patient is comfortable. In this case, we have our patient in a sitting position. The shoulder you can um, do supine and to also to be extremely comfortable. But you want to get the position so your targeted tissue is exposed. Now what we want to look at as well is if somebody has adhesive capsulitis, then what do we want to do? What position do you want to do? Tick tock, tick tock, okay. You want to have maximum abduction and external rotation. So I'm going to bring my patient's arm into abduction and maximal um, in external rotation. I'm going to apply the ultrasound head right here. This will give the maximum tissue exposure. What if they have impingement syndrome? Where will I want to position my patient for the best um, targeted exposure of the, I'm sorry, of the targeted tissue. I'm going to bring the arm now into internal rotation and extension, and I am going to apply the ultrasound head right there. Also, if you're using iontophoresis, as you can see from the clip art, um, that you can also put your pad in the same area and the patient's arm must be in the best position for the exposed tendon. Now if we look at the hand, and the red arrow is going to show you decor veins, where the yellow arrow is showing you intersection syndrome. So sometimes being that close together, you will have to position the arm or the wrist in the appropriate um, exposure of the targeted tissue, and in this case it would be ulnar deviation.